with um, recommending people to any other services apart from respectful relations when you come up with these sorts of cases which might respectful relationships might not be the first point of contact with them what type of other services uh, do you refer other people to or that you can recommend within the ANU or in the broader community uh, within the ANU or perhaps even going beyond that so within the ANU we work quite closely with ANU counseling uh, we work closely with the Dean of Students and the Dean of Staff uh, we work closely with the, the wellbeing areas as well, including access and inclusion. Um, and it is very simple and easy for us to provide what I te a term as a warm referral. So that might even be about meeting someone at that service and going into their first meeting with them. It might just be about us giving somebody a phone number and they're comfortable with that or us making an appointment. We also work quite closely with the Registrar of Student Administration's uh, office and team who are the area that are responsible for inquiries against the discipline rules as well. So when somebody wants to make a, um, a, a formalised report to the ANU, um, we work quite closely with HR as well. So where it comes to issues around staff, um, either in, as involvement as survivors or as uh, alleged perpetrators as well. Um, so they're areas. My number one tip for access to care and support outside of the ANU um, because it is accessible 24 hours a day, regardless of where you are within Australia, is 1-800-RESPECT. So if people are looking for an immediate action to, uh, immediate access to someone to talk to, 1-800-RESPECT is, um, is, a, is a wonderful service that can connect people into services in the state or territory that they're in across Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously if someone's safety is in immediate threat, um, or the safety of others is in immediate threat, then triple zero. Great. Uh, thank you for that uh, information. Uh, also, with students who want to become involved in respectful relations, what's, uh, what can students do to become part of this initiative? Absolutely. There's a two-pronged answer to this. Firstly, we run a student ambassadors program where we're looking for students who want to be engaged in the work that we're delivering across the university or want to guide that work uh, to come and participate in that program. And there's information on our website about that. Um, so we want people to propose ideas about how to engage in the communities that they identify with on campus. And then secondly, more broadly on that, is we run a series of consultations and engagements across the year. We have a training calendar and an engagement calendar, which is up on our website as well. And people can um, engage in those public training sessions uh, uh, however or whenever they, they wish to in that area. And we really want community to partner with us. We want people to tell us what is going on. Um, we want them to tell us what their thoughts, their hopes, their dreams are, because we are, as I said, a small unit in a large university with a diversity of opinions and experiences. And we want your diversity, your experiences, and your understanding of the community that you live in to help guide and shape the work that we do. Fantastic. So lots of ways students can get involved and uh, spread the message. How is respect for relationships uh, working to make the ANU a safer, a safer space uh, for everyone on campus? That's a pretty big question. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, by turning up every day and working in our education and prevention initiatives, uh, our comms and community engagement around uh, campaigns, um, trying to clear up misinformation across the university around the difference between a disclosure and a report, uh, the online disclosure tool, which was uh, launched earlier this year, which is a way for people to uh, anonymously or identified, depending on what they're comfortable with, let the university know about instances of sexual misconduct that have occurred across campus and to seek care and support about that as well, um, which forms part of our data collection, but also our client services support. Uh, by engaging across the university through a number of initiatives and committees as well um, to broaden the scope of the understanding of what respectful relationships look like uh, in a tertiary education um, institution, uh, by engaging across staff and students. I think that's really important to note mm -hmm. um, that we are not just targeting initiatives and engagements with one particular area of our population, that we see this as a whole of university requirement and, and approach. Um, but there are, if you jump on our website, you will see lots of information about the varying types of work that we're doing and we try and keep that updated uh, and engaging so that people can see uh, what we are doing.